Previously, I completely restored my new WRX. I did a full exterior wash, clay bar, and two-step polish. I also restored the oxidized and faded headlights, and I spruced up the interior a bit. We're inching closer to getting this car out on the track, but first, there's a couple maintenance items. And rather than working out of my garage using my quick jacks, we're checking out a new shop, and that's Hoist House. Hoist House is an automotive garage space with bays, lifts, and storage for rent. What's nice is they have just about everything I can need to work on my car. A personal tool cart with tools, spring compressors, grinders, specialty tools, drive-on lifts, hoist bays. They have it all. And since I'm doing a ton of fluid changes today, I don't have to worry about taking care of everything. They will recycle all the fluids for me. I have three maintenance items for the WRX today, and we're gonna start with the rear diff fluid. So the bolts were pretty rusted. I did throw some PB Blaster on it. It's been sitting for like 30 minutes. I mean, I'm hoping it's enough, but I also don't have the right socket for the rear diff. It's a square 13 millimeter socket. I'm using an extension, and the extension seems to fit pretty flush, but I would not recommend using an extension, but uh, we'll see if this uh, comes out just fine. I don't trust it. So we went searching for a 13 millimeter square drain plug socket. So we've been to Harbor Freight, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto. I mean, we've been to all of them and none of them had the 13 millimeter rear dip socket that we need to remove this bolt. So I don't want to strip this thing. It was just too sketchy. And luckily a friend of mine is coming in clutch and he has one and he's nearby. So we're going to pick this up right now. Clutch. Dude, I don't even want to talk about my day. It's brand new. Oh my gosh. Aaron's clutch. I couldn't get it off even though we have the right socket now. So I threw some more PB blast around it. I'm gonna let it sit, but I need to move on to the transmission fluid. When I got to the trans plug, I almost thought I wasn't gonna get this one off either. It was on there super tight. Yeah. So the trans plug has a ton of debris and stuff all just kind of built up over time. I mean, Seems pretty normal-ish. That was actually a lot more than I thought, but uh, we're clean now. And of course, I make sure to remove that old crush washer and put in a fresh one. After draining the trans, I try once again to get these rear diff plugs off. And once again, still no luck. So I still can't get the rear diff bolt off. It is like really stuck on there. I put another round of PB Blaster, but I need to move on to the oil. Well, that is not how I wanted that to go. Well, the oil filter didn't go as planned, but I am a big fan of these Fomoto drain plugs now. I'll probably replace this once I get this car on the track. Um, this is gonna be too sketch for a track, but general oil changes, you can't go wrong. So for the oil filter, the tried and true Tokyo Rogi. So I've hit this with like three rounds of PB Blaster. I've let it sit for like another 30-ish minutes. I'm still having trouble getting this out. I'm hoping I can get this out today. It is still not budging, so we have a second solution. Hey guys, I got the torch. I'm with Dustin. He is going to basically torch this bolt and we're gonna hopefully get it off. So basically what we're doing is we PB blasted the bolt. Obviously it does not want to come free, so we're gonna apply some heat. Um, hopefully that will get us home free. Um, fingers crossed. Oh! There you, there you go. There you oh! Go. Oh, it's loose! Oh yeah. That thing is tight as shit. We got the top fill drain plug out with a little bit of heat, but before we get the bottom one, we're gonna heat that one up too, just to be safe. Uh, but they were probably definitely over torqued. I mean, that was easily 80 to 100. I don't know. Locking it. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. There you go. It just smells like just burnt vegetable oil, kind of, <laughs> what it smells like. So it was recommended to put some liquid gasket on the fill plug so they do not leak. So I do have some black RTV to put on here so we can avoid any leaks. For the rear diff, I have some Moltool SAE 90. It takes one quart, so I should really get this whole bottle in there. Once it starts dripping though, I know it's full. So 
Something that was really convenient about using this shop was having access to all data so I can get all the torque specs and all the information I need to make sure everything is put back together properly. I'd say do 36, 37 on both. You should be good if you wanted to go 44 on the bottom one, which I don't think that's really necessary. And if those super tight drain plugs weren't enough, it got a little worse. So for oil, I'm going with the Motul XS 5W40. This is not what I'm gonna run on the track, but it does need an oil change right now anyway. So I'm gonna swap it out for the time being, but I will be running a different fluid for the track. <sighs> this is what $50 worth of oil looks like. So I totally forgot to close the Fumoto drain plug. I was working in segments when I was shooting on this stuff and I just totally, I just totally blanked on closing it. And uh, I filled it pretty much all the way up and then I realized when I checked the dipstick why it was empty. I looked under the car and um, yeah, oil everywhere. So take two, Valvoline 5W30 for the time being. Yes, I made a very stupid mistake by just not paying attention, but we live and we learn. All right, so we're all full. Uh, no big deal on the oil spilling. It happens, mistakes, whatever. But uh, let's get the trans fluid filled up and I think we're good to go. For the trans fluid, I have a long hose and a funnel because you have to really reach down in there to get to it. Um, you could use like a hand pump from underneath, but I just figure a long hose and a funnel would be fine. And I shouldn't have to remove anything. All right, it is three quarts. I think the full capacity is 3.7, but I should be able to just be fine with three. We are going with Motul, of course, again, all the way around. Uh, it's gonna be gear 300, 75, 90. And uh, we're gonna be here for a while. Then this shit smells really bad. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, like I thought- It's got all the good juices and minerals that it needs. Yeah. The rear diff fluid is swapped out. The trans fluid is swapped out. The oil is swapped out after doing it twice, unfortunately. But next up is the power steering rack, which has a major leak before we can get this thing on the track. <laughs> 